Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects in 52 weeks challenge. The project of the second week will be change an image on a click. All right, let's get started. First, you need to create an HTML file, a CSS file and a JavaScript file. And then you need to create your HTML structure. You can do this with exclamation mark and tab if you have Visual Studio Code. Then you need to create a div where our lightbulb will be um, nested in. So type in div, give it an ID. I will call my ID container. Close the div and inside this div you can add, a, add an h1 tag and type in click on the lightbulb to turn it on. And under that, you can add another div. This is where our image will be in. Give it an ID of light bulb and a class of bulb off. All right, next we will need to add the style.css style file to our HTML file. We do this by typing link rel style sheet and the href, this is just the name of a style sheet, in my case it's style.css, and close it. Next you will need to add your JavaScript file, just type in script src and the name of your JavaScript file, in my case it's main.js, close it and now the HTML file is finished. Next you need to add a style to your container. We do this by accessing the container ID by typing this, the hashtag, this is the ID selector, typing in the ID name, container. Then we need to give it a height of 500 pixel, oh no, a width, a width of 1000 pixel, a height of 1000 pixel, then we need to also set the margin to auto so it will be centered and also align the text in the center so everything will be nice and centered. All right, next we need to create the um, light bulb classes, which we will later use to toggle the light bulb. So, first we need to access our class, the light bulb class. The class selector is a dot. Just type in the class name you gave your um, your div and then just style it give it a width of 500 pixel a height of 700 700 pixel set the background to the URL you can do this by just copying your um, image name plus the ending and also set the margin to auto. Also type um, no repeat behind it so the image won't repeat itself. So this is our bulb off class. And now if we just open up our HTML file you will see we have a light bulb. If you click on it, nothing happens because we didn't add any um, JavaScript. But first we need to also add the bulb on class. This is to later toggle it with JavaScript so the light bulb will turn on or um, the JavaScript file will just change the image to this one but it will um, look like we, we're turning on a light bulb. So just you can actually copy exactly this, change it to your file name. In my case, it's lightbulb dash on. Just keep everything the same. So now we can add the functionality. So open your JS file, type in var to create a new variable, name it light or whatever you want. You can name it, yeah, whatever you want. Document get element by id type in the id you gave your div element it's this one light bulb 
and now we created a variable which is called light and has our element in it. Next we need to create the event listener so type in your variable name dot at event listener click so it can listen to a click at a function and inside this function just type your variable name. Now open up this function and type in light. Oh, I have a typo. Function. Type in light target dot class list dot toggle. And here you will just type in the um, class you want to toggle. We want to toggle this class. So just paste it in there. And that's it. If you open up your JS file, uh, your index file, click on the image, it will change. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below. And if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article, visit my website learn-webdev.com. Link is in the description.